in the 80s when a feminist sociologist uh, started talking about um, that there's a feminist way of doing science, a feminist way of doing mathematics, and that the way that mathematics and science is done is really a male way, and we could do it differently. And um, again, AWM, the women and uh, mathematicians, really fought against that, saying that is not the issue at all. We're doing mathematics, real mathematics. You know, there are fads in mathematics. There's no doubt about that. As I mentioned, in the 60s, it was very abstract. And down now in the you know, 20, 20s, it's a little bit more applied, whereas applied math was you know, really looked down upon. When computers were looked down upon, now everything's looked up upon. So there's all sort of different fads and different ways of bringing things in. That's true. But I wouldn't say it's a male view versus a female view of science. And I thought that was, and many women in Mary Beth Ruskai in particular, I remember wrote a, an article about that for the AWM newsletter, which, by the way, the newsletter was the really glue for all of us. It would come out periodically, and we all looked for the, our newsletter. And, and that issue had more comments than any other issue t up to that time about you know, her really pointing out all the fallacies with this feminist view of science in a way that was sort of degrading for us.